In the heart of the 12th century a young man ascends to the throne of Jerusalem, Baldwin IV, also known as the Leper King. A child of destiny, Baldwin was crowned at just 13, yet his reign was shadowed by the specter of leprosy. Despite this, he rose above his affliction, demonstrating courage and resilience that belied his physical condition. The world he inherited was one of political turmoil and religious conflict. Jerusalem, a jewel of the Holy Land, was a coveted prize for both Christian and Muslim empires. Meanwhile, in the Muslim world, a new power was emerging. Salah ad-Din, better known as Saladin, was consolidating his hold over Egypt and Syria, amassing a formidable empire that posed a significant threat to Jerusalem. Baldwin IV and Saladin, two leaders shaped by their unique challenges and distinct cultures, were about to collide. With these two formidable leaders at the helm, the stage was set for a clash that would shape the course of history. As the year 1177 dawned, Saladin, the Sultan of Egypt and Syria, launched a massive attack against the Kingdom of Jerusalem. The early stages of this conflict saw a flurry of activity and strategic maneuvering. Saladin, with his seasoned and formidable army, had his eyes set on the Holy Land, a territory held by the young and ailing King Baldwin IV of Jerusalem. The stage was set for a clash of titans, a battle that would go down in the annals of history as the Battle of Montgissard. The odds were heavily stacked against Baldwin. He was not only young and inexperienced in the art of warfare, but he was also battling a debilitating disease, leprosy. But Baldwin, a symbol of courage and defiance, refused to back down. As Saladin's forces advanced, Baldwin mustered what remained of his army and prepared for battle. The disparity in numbers was stark. Saladin had a massive force while Baldwin had a humble gathering of men, but what they lacked in numbers, they made up for in spirit and determination. On the fateful day of November 25th, the two armies met on the field of Montgissar. The air was thick with tension as the battle began. Baldwin's troops, against all odds, held their ground. They fought with a tenacity that was as awe-inspiring as it was unexpected. The battle raged on for hours, but in the end it was Baldwin's forces that emerged victorious. Saladin's larger army had been defeated, and the Sultan himself barely escaped with his life. In the face of insurmountable odds and his personal battle with disease, Baldwin IV had led his forces to a surprising victory. The young king had shown that determination and courage could triumph over numerical advantage and experience. Despite being heavily outnumbered and battling a debilitating disease, Baldwin IV had prevailed, but the war was far from over. The following years saw a series of skirmishes and battles with neither side able to gain a decisive advantage. This period of conflict was characterized by strategic chess moves as both Baldwin IV and Saladin sought to outwit and outmaneuver each other. A pivotal moment came with the Battle of Jacob's Ford, where the forces of Jerusalem and the Ayyubid dynasty clashed in a brutal display of medieval warfare. As these battles raged on, Baldwin IV was facing a personal war of his own. His affliction with leprosy was becoming more severe, slowly eroding his ability to lead. His deteriorating health had a profound impact on the morale of his forces and the stability of the Kingdom of Jerusalem. The once vigorous king was gradually succumbing to his disease, his strength and vitality fading away. As Baldwin IV's health deteriorated, so too did the fortunes of the Kingdom of Jerusalem. By 1183, Baldwin IV was too ill to rule, and his sister Sibylla took the throne. As the war raged on, the stage was set for the final showdown, the Battle of Hatton. Saladin, a formidable tactician, seized the moment and delivered a crushing blow to the Crusaders. The battle was fierce, the losses heavy, and the outcome, a decisive victory for Saladin. This pivotal moment marked a turning point in the conflict, leading to the subsequent fall of Jerusalem. In the wake of Jerusalem's fall the Western world was shocked. This ignited the Third Crusade, a retaliatory effort to reclaim the Holy Land. Yet, despite the tumultuous aftermath and the changing tides of power, one figure stood undiminished, Baldwin IV, the Leper King. In the end, Saladin emerged victorious but the legacy of Baldwin IV, the Leper King lives on, a testament to the indomitable spirit of a man who fought until his last breath.